changing the nerve point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big. Possibly hostile. Taking evasive action. Wait! I don't think his... Well, that's something you don't see back home. Bringing us in. Jarl, what are you doing here, in the company of these people? Kiran, this is Pathfinder Ryder, from a long way away. Ryder, Kiran Dals, lead scientist at Darpalev. I just have to say, Havarl is beautiful. The planet's beauty is the least of my current concerns. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. Are they still alive? Vitals remain steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Let Ryder try. She's worked at the Remnant Tech inside a vault. Or so she says. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. What, like their laundry? <laughs> More like classified assassinations and espionage. The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. The Sam node could have been destroyed when Atanas hit the Scourge. I'd know if he was dead. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Atanas are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. You go left, I go right? <laughs> something like that. Here's my frequency. Call when you find you something. You bypassed our security. How is that possible? An alien? What? Like it's hard? Even we have trouble understanding remnant tech. Only a handful here can operate our own gates. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. 
Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Havarl could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On this lava, we have accepted Havarl's eventual ruin. That's a strange choice of words. What do you mean by reclaiming memories? One may occasionally remember a past life, if the conditions are right. What do you mean? We believe in reincarnation, an unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai, a champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object's heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past, with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, Zorai's soul, was reborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Hmm, that'll be difficult. That's why you're here, Joel. They won't like that I'm helping you. This may be a dead end, but we have to try. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now? You there is old men under my charge. And now you'll crown that achievement by killing me too. And you, I know your face. Why do you help these murderers? Ryder's an ally. She's already helped the scientists at Dar Palev. I know, and they should be ashamed. After all we've been through with the Ket. Tell me why you come here, so I know why I've died. Really? Can we take the drama down a notch? Two notches? I don't even have a gun up. I have an artifact or heirloom or something. I'm going to set it down, and I need you to take hold of it. What? And? Ryder, it's not doing anything. Wait. There are things like this in the museum on Aya. Ancient Angaran tech. This fits over a hand. Contacts on the inside for my electric control of... <gasps> what did you do to me? The third monolith. Do you know where it is? I... Uh, yes. Yes. But I don't understand how. I need you to take me there. Please. If you do this, we can save Havarl. Together. You... You're an alien. I can't trust... Then let me try to earn your trust. Please. Deep beneath the surface, but... But not far. Meet me here. These coordinates. I will guide you the rest of the way. Just... Let me compose myself first. Commander? Pathfinder. Joel's been keeping me updated on your... Adventures. Your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You went out of your way to free that science thing. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Arya's vault. Jarl says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? My personal code is, I got this. Bold. A little arrogant. Like me. Still, I'll reserve judgment for now. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special catch facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to their program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully? The Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. 
With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. He's physically connected to me, so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the Ket. I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Ket facility. Stay strong and clear. The Goodbye. reports didn't do this world justice. It's... ethereal. Director Addison? No personal appearance? It might have been an outpost. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to... these extremes. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. It's not just about being a good neighbor. Their stability helps us in the long term. Practical and true. Ledgers don't understand that nuance, but I do. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. And there's another matter, a ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? We were promised a lot when we signed on to the Initiative. But no Golden World ever looked like this. We need to know everything. About Havaral, about the friends who come from here. We need to know it all. Into the books, Pathfinder. At a snap.